Okay, so before we get into the video, I want to go over one thing in general. 82.2% of you guys who watch the videos aren't subscribed. So make sure right now, you guys hit the subscribe button, turn the notifications on, press that little bell, and get on with the rest of the video. So let's get into the video. This is a video that I've been wanting to make for a very, very, very long time. And I really think it's going to help a lot of you. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Let's dive into it. And let me tell you guys a little of my story and a little of my advice. So for those of you that don't know, I was born with one arm and three fingers. And as you guys can tell from my channel, probably on my Instagram, that I love to fish and I love to hunt. And those are two things that have always like brought me happiness in life, I guess, and some way that I can get away from the world, especially like right now with everything that's going on, you just want to be able to get away. So I was born, like I said, with one arm and three fingers. My journey with fishing started when I was three years old. And I remember sitting on the dock outside my house, right near my boat. And a lot of you guys who have watched my videos know exactly where my boat is. I'm sitting right there at three years old. And I remember trying to hold the rod, like right here, like in between my arm and my body, and trying to reel like that. And of course, you know, three-year-old me, I didn't really know what I was doing. Because I didn't really have like the brain capacity. I didn't know anything yet. Um, I thought that this is how everybody was, and my parents were different. Whatever. That didn't work. I remember putting it in between my knees and I was like, oh, you know, I could fish a little bit better like this. I could get a little more leverage. So as time went on and as I started to grow, I realized that I should put it in between my legs. And that is where my story, my advice, and how I fish begins. In this video, I went out and I took a video of me fishing in two styles, kind of the way that I fish. The first clip that you'll see here in a few um, seconds is me working a shrimp. and. For those of you guys who don't fish salt water, it's like working a, a like a worm on the bottom. Slow little twitches. So well, let's dive into the video right now. And then afterwards I will give you a little bit of um, context of like what I'm doing and how I'm doing. So my stupid phone. But let's go. Okay, well, you just saw that video, um, and as you can see, it's very windy out because, you know, there's a little cool front coming through, but what I'm doing is I'm working the lure, holding the rod between my legs with my left leg. I'm barely bumping it off the bottom when you see me twitching it. That's all with my legs, and I realized that that works the best because, one, you'll be able to feel the tap, and two, um, when I set the hook, I use my, pretty much my whole body, but mainly, like, my hips down, so like, when I already have, like, that motion going with my legs, I could easily set back into the fish. Whatever works for you, even if like you want to like get into it and like holding it in between your legs if you, you know are missing a limb or like whatever. Try this, and if you don't like to set the hook that way, you don't have to set the hook that way if you have your own um, your own ways of doing it. But this is how I do it. So let's get into the another to the next clip I made right now. So as you guys can see from that clip that's me working a top water bait i don't know if you saw it but the bait wasn't walking on the top because of how windy it was but you saw my leg moving very fast because like that's how i like get the bait to work on top and get like the walk the dog style kind of like that with a lot of things like like little twitch baits reel it and like twitch with my leg so like kind of the same thing just slow down a little bit so those are kind of like the two ways that i fish and like there's like the two like main ways of course there are like little groups of it but like that is like the heart and soul of it if you guys know what I mean. So the rest of the video, I kind of want to talk about like tips and like advice that I've had people like me, I guess, or like that I've like experienced over my whole life. So let's get into them. Number one, I just want everybody who's watching, whether you don't have a limb or if you have all your limbs, I guess, um, is to realize that you just never give up. No matter what it is, no matter if it's fishing, work, school, the sport, don't give up. If you feel like you're at a disability, you're really not you can do whatever you put your mind to. That's my first bit of advice, just for everything. All right, so my second piece of advice for people, I guess, hold on, like I was saying, my second piece of advice to the people, let's say like if you don't have an arm, um, find what really fits you. And what I mean by that is, you know, my way of fishing might not work. I've seen people who have put it under their arms and reeled like that and have gotten you know, like, or, or have done amazing. For me, that just isn't how it works for me, and that's just not what I felt most comfortable with. 
my second piece of advice, or my third piece of advice, and this isn't really advice, this is just kind of like knowledge, I guess, but I was thinking is when you go to look for a rod, if you're going to try like the putting it between your legs method or whatever, look for a rod that has like a bigger butt to it, or like the, kind of like the area that goes down from the, um, from the reel down, um, just because if it's not like long enough, you can't really, really hold it and it'll be very uncomfortable. And you don't really want to pinch anything. So you want to, you want a bigger butt. Let's just put it that way. So wrapping up this video, I just want to say thank you guys for watching. And I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. It was definitely one that I love to make and I wish that I could have gone into more detail, but I hope as my channel grows, I could definitely go into more detail and meet up with some of you guys and like really help you out. But with that being said, if you guys know anybody that has like a missing limb, you know, blah, 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 or maybe you've been getting something amputated, I want you guys to show them this video and show them my channel. And I know a few other channels out there um, or just videos of people just doing amazing things without, you know, their limbs. So you guys will know that you can do whatever. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys please like and subscribe. We're trying to grow that subscriber count all the way up. I think we're at 225 right now. We're doing a giveaway at 230 and then another giveaway at 500. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like the video, like I said, subscribe because we have a lot more stuff like this and you can actually see me fish and not just talk to the camera. So if you want to see that, go to my channel, click on one of the videos, but I'm out. Bye.